so much to learn about. It'll make you want to shout, Blippi! Yeah! Nice music! Woohoo! Hey, it's me, Blippi, and I was just grooving to some tunes. Check this out, though. <laughs> Do you see this? This is a tie-dye shirt, and today you and I are going to make a tie-dye shirt. Wow, it's so colorful. Let's list all these colors. Up top, there is the color blue. Yeah. And then below that, looks like it's the color pink or red. Pinkish red. <laughs> and then we have yellow, like the color of the sun. And then we have orange at the bottom. Do you see it? Whoa! This shirt is so groovy. <laughs> All right, let's go get some supplies and make our very own tie-dye shirt. Woo! <laughs> Check it out. We have all the materials and supplies we need to make our tie-dye shirt. <laughs> all right, we don't need this because we're gonna make one. <laughs> so, first you start with a white t-shirt. Yeah. Like this, see? And then you take a dye. Yeah, let's see, a fabric dye. This is the orange fabric dye. This one is red. This one is blue. This one is purple. And this one is yellow. <laughs> and then we have some rubber bands and you tie the shirt really tight. And then you spray the dye on it but you have to wear your gloves <laughs> or else your hands are gonna get stained. I don't want that. And then we have a bag for later. I'll show you what that's all about. And the water. Okay, so first step, we need to get the shirt wet. Just like that. Let's get it nice and wet. Wow, <laughs> that water's really cold. Okay. Squeeze out all the water. Whoa. <laughs> We're so strong. All right. And then let's lay the t-shirt out on the table. Yeah. And the cool thing about tie-dye is you can do so many different designs. And it's all about how you twist and crunch the shirt and wrap the rubber bands around it. So let's, uh, let's do a swirl. <laughs> I love swirls. Yeah, kinda like ice cream swirls. <laughs> I love ice cream. Okay, here we go. So you just twist it, swirl it. Oh, perfect. <laughs> wow, I am so excited to pick the colors. Okay. There we go. And then you have a nice bunched up shirt. You could even bunch it, but I chose to swirl it. And then you take these rubber bands and, and wrap them around the top and the bottom of the shirt, just like this. Yeah, this white shirt is gonna be so colorful. <laughs> All right, there's two rubber bands. Here is three rubber bands. Perfect. This is looking so good. And then here's the fourth rubber band. <laughs> wow. Will you count to four with me? Ready? One, two, three, four. <laughs> good job. All right, now we get to pick our colors. But remember, <laughs> let's put on our gloves. Okay, here we go. One glove. Two gloves. <laughs> One, two. <laughs> All right, let's see. We have a lot of colors. I know. I think I'm going to choose two colors. My two favorite colors. Do you know what colors they are? Yeah, I bet you do. Yeah, blue and orange. All right, here's the two colors. And then, uh, 
take the caps off. And then you get to squirt the shirt in whatever way you want. I'm gonna squirt some blue right there. I'll skip some and squirt some blue right there. How about some blue right there? <laughs> and some blue right there. Wow. The shirt was all white. But now what color is it? Yeah, there's two colors. Blue and white. <laughs> yeah. All right, let's give it a little more. Wee, wee, wee. <laughs> All right, so then the other color, like I said, is orange. So let's squirt that white and get it nice and orange. There we go. Wow, we are doing so good. There we go. Perfect. Wow, amazing. Wow, this looks so good. Do you see it? We have blue and orange. <laughs> All right, set that down. And now you take the big plastic bag and you put the shirt in there. And close it up. And now we get a weight, but you have to keep it in here for at least six hours. You can even do it up to 24 hours if you wanted to. The longer you keep it in this bag, the darker and more vibrant the colors are gonna be. Hmm, I think we should probably wait eight hours. So, let's wait. Hmm, we're almost done waiting, but I think what we should do is mix two colors and see what color it makes. First, let's take our blue. Whoa, do you see that? Whoa, <laughs> that's awesome. Wow, blue water. Then let's take, how about red? Hopefully it doesn't spill on me because I don't have my gloves on anymore. <laughs> All right, here we go. Blue and red. Whoa, what color is that? I have my mixing tongs. <laughs> wow, yeah. Blue and red make the color purple. Wow, let's put a little bit more red in there. Wow, now it's a dark purple. Whoa, that's fun. Okay, well, I think our t-shirt has been in here for long enough. It's been about, yeah, multiple hours. So now I'm gonna go take this to the sink, take the rubber bands off and rinse it off. And then I'm gonna go put it in the dryer. <laughs> I'll be right back, okay? Wow, this is awesome. <laughs> Our shirt is complete. Wow, all right, here it is. Do you see it? Wow, yeah. It's blue and orange. Can you see how it, where I swirled it? Right about there. Wow, it's so cool. Time to try it on. <laughs> wow, how do I look? <laughs> that was awesome. I love making tie-dye shirts. Woo! <laughs> I sure do love tie-dye shirts. Whoa! Maybe now, at home, you can make your very own tie-dye shirt. <laughs> I am so excited to see the creation that you make. <laughs> all right, well, this is the end of this video. But if you wanna watch more of my videos, all you have to do is search for my name. Will you spell my name with me? <laughs> B-L-I-P-P-I, Blippi. Good job, all right. See you later! Come on everyone, let's make the